Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making an easy French toast bake. I thought with Father's Day coming up, this would be the perfect little breakfast to serve him. And it's really simple to make. The ingredients are really simple. I am showing you what I'm using right now. I did take this recipe and cut it in half. I will have the recipe linked below. And the one that I'm gonna be linking is for a serving of 12. So this is great if you're gonna be having like a brunch or you know family over. It definitely would feed um, you know everyone. So we're gonna just start out with um, the eggs. I am just gonna be using, I think I just used four eggs. Like I said, I did cut the recipe in half. So um, I would have to say um, it's, it's pretty easy. No crazy ingredients, everything that you will have on hand. And I think that you're really gonna like it. Okay, so in the large bowl, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add the eggs, we're gonna add the milk, heavy cream, the sugar, the brown sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. The reason why I chose this recipe is that my husband really likes French toast. So I thought that this would be perfect for him uh, and for everybody. I think this is one recipe that everyone in the family eats. <laughs> um, you know, Alex is a little bit picky, so but he does like French toast. Um, he wasn't crazy about the eggs and being in there, but he did he didn't really eat it. So that I was happy about that. <laughs> I have to say that I'm really enjoying making casseroles. I find that these recipes are like really easy. And um, what I like is that they're all contained in one, one little casserole dish and it, serve, it could serve many, it could serve a small amount depending on how you use the recipe. But I have to say I'm almost tempted to do another cookbook with just casseroles. I don't have the time right now, but <laughs> I am tempted. Okay, so all those ingredients were whisked together and now we're going to go ahead and add the cubed bread. You can use Texas toast, you can use uh, leftover bread, um, you know, any kind of bread, I guess, that you would, you know, would like to use would, would work perfectly with it. Just plain white bread, um, but I had some uh, rolls left over, so I went ahead and I cubed them up and uh, just go ahead and mix that egg mixture with the bread. Okay, so now we're gonna take a smaller bowl. We're gonna go ahead and add in the flour, the remaining brown sugar, uh, cinnamon, a little bit of salt if you would like to, and we're just gonna mix that really, um, really well together. Okay, that morning I did not have my coffee yet, and you can tell because I don't know why I started to put the the um, butter into a blender. I needed a food processor, so I don't know what the heck I was doing um, because you just want to be able to cut the butter, you know, and pulse it in the food processor for a few bit for a few minutes until the mixture is crumbly. So I had to stop after I realized what I was doing and go get my little, I have, it's not really a processor, it's more of a chopper, but that worked perfectly. And um, you'll see the results of that in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, and there you go. That looks much better. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take a greased casserole dish and we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, bread and the eggs egg mixture to the pan and then we're going to take the brown sugar butter topping and we're going to go ahead and spread it over the top of the um, casserole.
Okay, once that is ready to go, you're gonna go ahead and put it into a preheated oven of 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. I think I ran a little bit closer to 55. Here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. It is nice and brown and toasty on top. I did serve it with some strawberries. You can also serve it with maybe a dollop of Cool Whip, <laughs> some blueberries, or any other kind of topping you would like to use. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.